okay? Which, you know, is a six, $600,000 bond that we're still paying. <coughs> so, um, so CHIP's money, right, that was your, the end yeah, of the Yeah, I was going to use it every year or just while the year the work is being done. And your second question. Um, you said you had two. The band. <laughs> oh, the band. Yeah. Okay. And why did it go up? I can find another one. If you like. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Tax levy amount was? I don't have that answer with me. If you can get that, yep. that would be super. Another thing, I'm a little concerned. I'm looking at, um, as an example, the water fund. Mm -hmm. And again, I see 2018-19 budget numbers, but I haven't seen numbers from 2017-18. But in addition, uh, as an example, I don't know how much time is spent when it comes to fringe benefits. But in the water fund, for example, what, uh, Social Security, Medicare was budgeted at 2000 in 2018 19. That calculates back to a salary of $26,000. Of course, uh, the water fund has salaries and over $100,000. So I think someone needs to take a, a okay. better look at the fringe benefit calculations. I, you know, I didn't estimate disability or anything else, but I think it's something that warrants. Review. Okay, as far as getting to, if you remember last year, uh, it was budgeted for water, I believe it was like $700,000. Um, anybody have, do you have a copy of that last year? Um, we, didn't, we didn't even come close to that. Mm -hmm. All right? I remember asking the question, are you raising our water rates? And the answer was yes. Okay. I don't know when we would get that news. Okay, so we have to just disregard what was budgeted last year and now work on what's actual, we actually brought in last year. Let, let me then pose a third question. When it comes to the water fund, are you going to use a uh, cost accounting basis in an attempt to come up with a budget? In other words, there's fixed costs that don't <coughs> vary according to usage. Things like uh, the salaries, mm -hmm. exclusive and overtime. You could come up with an idea based upon, it could be per user, let's say there's 500 subscribers, you know, it's a facetious example to the water, water system, divide your fixed cost by 500, everybody pays that amount. In addition to that, the variable cost, chemicals, treatment, blah, 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 electric and all that, well, that, that'd be based upon some sort of gallonage calculation. Well, yeah, th and that's what they're actually, that's that math problem that I mentioned mm -hmm. to you, okay, that let them figure that thing out. One of the suggestions that they made to me, and um, as I as I took a drink, was um, we could always base it on the property value of the house. No, it's not no I don't think so. No. Okay, that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. All right, so it has to be done on 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 um, taking that one and a half percent, making sure it doesn't go over that. All right, let's start to crawl. Okay, before we, we get into a job. I don't, look, you know, I don't want to pay any taxes. I don't think anyone in this room wants to pay taxes. Okay, so we have to make sure that every dollar is spent, that's spent, is being spent wisely. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a lot of waste. A lot of waste. And it's, it's, well, this well, board, it's chipping away at right. it. You know, this board has made a commitment that there's no more waste. We're not going to do it anymore. Okay. And like I said before, we're watching everything. We're all annoying. All right? I think I might be a little bit more annoying, but that's okay. Um, you're, you're kind of annoying. I have the, I have the line on the phone. Yeah, well, yes. And right now, uh, <laughs> right now there's no tax increase. Okay, there's a, um, a surplus right. of 
$294,838. So as we stand right now, there's no taxes increase. Now, been said, we got to have a tax increase. It's just something we have to do. Um, I don't think if we have over a million dollars in the bank that we could come to you and say, we need to pay, you need to pay more taxes. Okay? Everything that we plan on doing this year is in that budget. So why do we need to pay more taxes? And we still have to look at numbers. We have to make sure that these numbers are as accurate as can be because they're so fluid. Our budget ends, our budget year ends the last day of February. We have to have this budget adopted by the uh, last day in January. All right, so we should have a better handle on things. I've asked all department heads, there's no more spending unless it's an emergency. One of the emergencies, I need salt for the roads. That's an emergency, okay? The um, wastewater plant, the operators, uh, we need gloves. That's an emergency. But gloves aren't an emergency in this building, okay? So that's really where we stand with that. Um, we still have outstanding purchase orders. We went to a new purchase order system, okay, where the person who needs the equipment or supply fills out a requisition, is sent into the village hall. The treasurer then issues a purchase order to that person with the receiving copy. Nothing gets paid unless the uh, supplies are received and signed off by that person who uh, requested it. So we have all that documentation. Uh, it's just a matter of getting that documentation <coughs> into these numbers here. No way are we going to I feel confident by saying, no way are we going to be off $900,000. That's just not going to happen. Okay. So it's safe to say that uh, right now there is no taxes going up. As long as we, we collect the taxes that, that we got last year. All right. That being said, we're looking into um, a tax assessment. We had a tax assessor, we used the services of Lori Cody from the town of Blooming Grove. Lori since resigned, okay? We feel, Rich and I were talking about it, uh, that we need to be, we need to have our own tax assessor to look at our property within the village. She gave credit to some, some businesses some homes, we don't know what, what those differences are. I think in order for us to know, we need to have our own assessment. And she was here for a while, uh, as late as last year. There was a line item, I think $12,000 a year. Who is, who is this tax assessor? And most, more importantly, where does she sit? All right, because there were no chairs. Everyone was sitting in a chair. Uh, we since, uh, deleted that, okay, and now we're looking for our own tax assessment. Our own. Our own. Separate from? Separate from the town of Bloomington. Thank Grove. you. Mm -hmm. part -time. Thank and, you. And it would be a part-time position. Yeah. Okay. So we also need to look into a um, person who's going to operate the sweeper. Okay, the sweeper comes in. They're going, that person is going, that's their job, the sweeper and to do the catch basins uh, and whatever else needs to be done in the village. Blooming Grove, because it is a shared service, a shared grant, Blooming Grove will request the sweeper, but that driver goes with the sweeper. Our driver goes with the sweeper. We're the custodians of, of that uh, equipment, which will be stored up at uh, Woodfield in the other end of the um, softball softball building, okay? There's no floor in there, so we have to pour a concrete floor, okay? There's well, um, some well equipment in there, but there's no wells, all right? But that's where the equipment would be. Everyone, it will put it down here, put it down there, but everywhere you mentioned floods. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that again. Um, so 
You might want to mention that when it does go to Blooming Grove, they have to reimburse us. Yes. Yeah. So when it, when it goes to Blooming Grove to do their streets, we're reimbursed by Blooming Grove. We've come up with a um, intermunicipal agreement that I think it's now on the fourth legal team looking at it. So what started out to be two or three pages is now about 30 or 40 pages. And it probably all says the same stuff. Okay? Um, trees in the Northwest gave their life just for the first couple of copies. And then the same thing with South Blooming Grove. Now, if we have to do catch basins in Blooming Grove and South Blooming Grove, those municipalities will supply the person who's going to operate the machine for the catch basins. If there needs traffic control, they will provide that traffic control. We, we're supplying the machine and the driver. Okay, we are the custodians of, of this machine. Okay. And is the town and village South and Grove going to share all the expenses on maintenance? You know, who's yes. going to look over that expensive you know, machine and make sure it's not? We, we've come up with a, a we've come up with a dollar amount per hour uh, per day, I should say. And um, it's a little bit more than the actual cost of operation. So that money will go into a separate fund. Each okay. municipality will have its own brushes. So it's just a quick connect for the, the, the gutter brush and the belly brush. Never knew all this information about a sweep brush. Didn't think it was necessary. Now I do. So each municipality you know, will have that. And about the zero percent increase projected. Uh, I know nobody wants a tax increase, but you know, four years ago we got hit with a massive one. Mm -hmm. um, so, is it wise to, to budget uh, a one percent or one point five percent tax increase, and maybe even not borrow so much money for the roads instead of borrowing the two million? Can we put us? I, I don't know what. Maybe Amy can spit out the numbers for us. Like a one point five percent tax increase. How much of the road fund, instead of taking such a big loan out, you know, can we start paving roads with money we have either currently or with a very minor tax increase? So five, six years from down the road, we're not seeing a large tax increase, a 10% tax increase, a 12% tax increase. We, we were thinking of 23, weren't we? Yeah, I was going to start off this a 24% tax increase, because 25 just made everything go crazy. Um, it's just that nobody wants it, to pay it's, more taxes. It's a, it's a right. thought that, that, we, that we were talking about, that anywhere between one to one and a half. Okay. Uh, and that Does might anybody count. know how much money that would be? Well, it uh, would yeah, probably be like $33,000. 1% is $33,000. Like That's it. One third, one percent across the board is $33,000. Yeah. 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 Because it's only property taxes, not the other taxes. See, no, so now, now you... Yeah. It's, not, it's not much. It's not yeah. much. Okay. How many do roads we, are you going to do for thirty-three thousand dollars? See, mine. <laughs> 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 what, 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 been going through? I know it's been going through my mind. Is and, and I and I understand what you're saying. That let's use this money to pave the roads, but that money is never used to pave the roads. Okay. So this is specific for the, for the roads. And okay, next year we do have to come up with that with that money, so maybe that 1%, but it has to go into a separate, a separate account, yeah. a separate fund. Right now we have three funds for, uh, one for water, one for sewer, and one for facilities. Okay, so the water check comes in, and then it's divided by threes. Okay, so we know exactly where that money is. Like if that's the case, not to intermingle them. So, yeah. Correct. If you borrow $2 million, let's make sure it goes in the roads and not something... Correct. You know, when, when fines and forfeitures, you know, it, it comes in, it's not going to go for community parks. It, it doesn't belong there. It belongs in the budget that it, it's supposed to be in. Um, just to just follow up, you said it was a three account that's new, which just started. Yes, it, it's, it's new. We never had it. Okay. Well, three funds for the water, which they were in the facility. It was always mingled together. Oh, mingled. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Did, did they borrow from the, the water fund? For the A fund, you could, but you have to pay it back. And I don't think it was paid back. Okay, it might have been, but right now the audit is, and the financial people really don't know. All right, so so this is something that that we're still up against. 
but it's coming to an end. Okay, uh, we can't borrow from the sewer at all. All right, maybe that that's why it's it's in such such great shape with such a bad uh, building. We we still have a bond on that from from years ago. Facility fees were supposed to be going into that fund since 1995. Joe, I thought the bond was paid off back in 2011. 2011, 2011. As, as late as the other day, Thursday, I, I met with our auditors before I met with mm -hmm. Munistat. We still had the bond. Really? That, yeah. that bond, I believe, is from the H2M. $600,000. There is one from, from there, and we've been in constant, I'm and glad you mentioned that. merged into yep. the 13-2. We've been in constant contact now with uh, EFC, which is going to be, you saw the numbers right. there. Um, actually, yeah, it was there supposed to be a road trip tomorrow going up there, but hold, yeah. what they said is, just give us to the end of the week. Um, yeah, we're only right. going to get back what we're eligible to get back. So if we sent a, a bill up there for $625,000 for the new 